welcome to a brand new episode of Rating All Pokemon with me, Hilda. Everything's going so fast right now. Uh, we're doing only three Pokemon per episode because, you know, legendaries are apparently more interesting than other Pokemon. I hope you're you're ready to start on Unova very soon because that is happening. It's happening. Don't even worry about that. It's happening. And I know a lot of people don't like Unova, but I do, so... I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I've been told I shouldn't swear that much, so I will I'll tone it down a bit. <laughs> right, so this week's episode has like has three Pokemon and it's a bit mixed up because I had to take Giratina out, so we like skip one number. Don't even worry about it. It'll be fine. The Pokemon we're starting out with today is uh, number 485. 485? I thought we were way further than that. Whatever. Pokemon 485, Heatran. Now, Heatran is one of those Pokemon that I always forget about. Um, you know, there, there's always these Pokemon that I, even I, the lover of all Pokemon, uh, just forget about. And Heatran is one of them. Don't really care about it that much. But we're gonna talk about it anyway. Heatran is a fire and steel type and it is kind of kind of creepy. It's kind of like a bug. It has these these little claws that it uses to run over walls and it's kind of scary, if I'm honest. Another thing about Heatran is that it emits so much heat that parts of its body have actually like melted away and solidified into steel and that is kind of scary. Heatran's blood is boiling hot. It's kind of like magma and that's what runs through its body and that is what causes the intense, intense heat. Now Heatran is a guardian and it is really tough and really fierce and it needs the power of the magma stone to keep it like a little bit more chill without like making sure it doesn't like rampage and like make a huge mess. So that's quite interesting. If it doesn't have the magma stone, it will make volcanoes erupt. That is how crazy and angry this guy is. Now, Heatran is probably based on the concept of uh, volcanic remains. That's why it looks a, li a little bit clunky, chunky. Now, like I said before, it also is kind of similar to a bug because it can uh, run over walls and ceilings. And that may be because it might be based a little bit on the cockroach. Ugh. Now, Heatran's name comes from heat, obviously, and transfer, but the tran in its name might actually also be based on transition metal, like referring to the fact that iron, which is a transition metal, forms a lot of uh, Earth's outer and inner core. Sorry, I don't have my phone with that because that was a bit confusing. Yeah, Heatran is a bit of a weird boy. Uh, I don't... I don't know. I don't know what to think, to be honest. What do you think about Heatran? Let me know. I think it's worth a three out of five. Next up is Regigigas. Regi... Regigi... Regigigas. Regigigas. The overlord of Hoenn's legendary titans. Now, Regigigas is uh, a bit weird looking to me. It always reminded me of a clown or of some, some sort. Uh, I don't know. It looks like that, right? The colors and stuff, yeah? Okay. Regigigas can only awake if all three of the legendary titans are near it, him. It has gems on its body in different colors that represent each of the uh, legendary titans. The red ones represent Regirock, the blue ones represent Regice, and the silver ones represent Registeel. Now, Regigigas was a very angry and uh, crazy rampaging, again, rampaging boy that got locked into a dungeon by humans because they were too terrified of it. And that seems to happen a lot. These humans need to learn to respect and not lock something up as soon as it scares them. Try to investigate what the fuck it is first. Because it turns out that if you befriend a Regigigas, it's actually like quite a nice guy and it doesn't really do that much wrong. So why do you lock it up? Guys, come on. <sighs> Don't hide away the things you're scared of. That's a lesson for this week. Anyway, Regigigas is a craftsman and it created the three golems out of um, 
things of nature or inanimate objects. It's the only Pokemon that can control these three titans even if they belong to a trainer. It's like their daddy. <laughs> Regigigas can survive extreme conditions like a very, very high heat, very low temperatures um, because it's pretty cool. Now, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl say there's an enduring legend that states this Pokemon towed continents with ropes. Now, that's really cool, but I haven't really found that much information on that. So if you have anything you'd like to add to that, humans from the comments, please do, because I'm quite interested. Now, just like the legendary Titans, Regigigas is based on the golems of Hebrew legend that I've already mentioned when I discussed those three guys. Um, but another thing Regigigas might be based on is the legendary golem of Prague, who was also like really powerful and it scared people, so they locked it up in an attic. Regigigas was locked up in a, a dungeon or a basement, but um, pretty similar. Now Regigigas' name comes from Re Regigigas' name comes from Regis, which is Latin for royal, and Gigas, which is Greek for giant. I give Regigigas a four out of five. Now we're skipping a number because that's where Giratina was, and we're moving over to number 488. Cresselia. Now Cresselia actually also has a counterpart that is not, not right next to it, but that's fine. We can talk about that later in the, in the next episode or the one after that. I don't remember. I think the next one. So Cresselia is a part of the uh, lunar duo, the other one being Dark Ray, and that is who I mentioned before. Um, I, I, I cannot... I cannot keep correcting Pokemon's mistakes by putting Pokemon together that are not next to each other in the list. Just can't keep doing it. It hurts me too much to not go by number. So I'm gonna just go with it. Cresselia is a duck. It's not. Uh, it's based on a swan and it is pretty cool. I used to always get it in Pokemon Black and White. Was it two or one? I don't remember, but you needed like the lunar wing or something and stand on the marvelous bridge and then it would appear. And I was like, hell yeah, Cresselia, come to me, girl. Is that weird? Cresselia is very like regal looking and uh, it has this like lunar aesthetic. It's part of the lunar duo. Darkrai doesn't look very humor. It doesn't really look very lunar. So that's why. Now Cresselia has the power to uh, make nightmares go away, which is absolutely great. I would like to own one in real life. It's said that if you hold one of its feathers while sleeping, it will bring you happy dreams. And that is also great. And I still want one. I think it is uh, a pretty, a pretty cool, cool looking Pokemon, but I've never used it in, in battle. I just like got it and put it in my bag. <laughs> Oops. Actually, I'm going to do two, two Pokedex entries today. First one is from Diamond and Pearl. Shiny particles are released from its wings like a veil. It is said to represent the crescent moon. Cresselia makes sense and it's cool. Pokemon Platinum says On nights around the quarter moon, the aurora from its tail extends and undulates beautifully. That's really cool. I like things that are beautiful. Now, Cresselia, like I said before, looks like it's based on a swan. Because Cresselia looks a bit like it's from space and it has stuff to do with the moon, it may also be based on the constellation Cygnus. And Cygnus's name is derived from the Latinized Greek word for swan. How? How coincidental? Cool. Cresselia's name comes from crescent, as in crescent moon, and Selene, which is the Greek goddess of the moon. Pretty dope. I give Cresselia a five out of five. Why? Because I want to. Thank you all so much for watching. I uh, hope you are having a good day. Uh, my question of... I already asked some questions in the, in the video, but I also have another question, which is... Your favorite sea guardian, Fioni or Manaphy? Think about it, because they're very similar, but Manaphy gets way more love, and I don't know why. I'll tell you more about them next week. Uh, goodbye! Or, uh, also, subscribe, and like, and comment, because that's what YouTube wants now. Gotta be active, guys. Apparently. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>